Hello everyone. Welcome back to another tips and suggestions video. You guys liked the last one, and had some request, so here we are. Also, please remember these are my opinions and my playstyle. And without further ado, let's get into the video. The most requested style was Hitman, so that is what we'll begin with. Hitman is one of the most dangerous styles in the game. Mainly because of its ability to hit and not be hit. What allows this is Hitman's incredibly long range. On top of its range, the M1s deal a solid bit of damage. Most Hitmen are passive aggressive players. They will not attack until you get in their preferred range. In order to get past Hitman's flickers, you have to get the timing and range down. To do this, start outside of Hitman's range. As you close in, don't just walk straight forward, but move around, somewhat in a side to side motions. Not too much though, or too fast. Doing this usually allows me to dodge easier, because as you close in on Hitman, most likely, your opponent will swing first. That is why as you are closing in, watch your opponent's movement, and the second his arm moves, dodge it. It doesn't matter where because you'll most likely get to land some M1s if everything goes right. Don't bother trying to fight from long range or from a certain distance, you'll just get cooked. If you don't like this approach, then you can be aggressive. Of course, you'll still need to learn the timing and range of Hitman's flickers. Also remember, as you close in, the speed and timing of Hitman's flickers change. They are both usually quicker. So if you choose to fight Hitman inside, you need to be very good at dodging. You need good reaction time, and possibly a bit of predictability. For aggressive Hitman users, you can use the same tactics. Stay out of their range until you are ready to make a move. Now, that covers mostly what you need to know, but there is something else very important that you must know. Hitman V2s are not your average UBG players. They are killing machines who solely play the game to ruin your day. These players are usually high ranked, but can range from gold to champion. When fighting a Hitman V2, you can use everything that I told you before, but that is simply not enough. You will also need experience, patience, guts, and IQ. Now wait, this is just a game. That was what you thought. Hitman V2s have the ability to ruin your entire day in the matter of seconds. To identify a Hitman V2, you must notice these things. They manage their range more carefully, have impeccable timing and sometimes stretch out their M1s instead of using barrages. You won't even get to land a hit on one if you're not careful. However, you mostly find these in ranked. There are some outside of ranked, but not as much. So my tips for Hitman V2. Be observant, cautious and wise in all you do. One mistake can turn the entire match around. Also, I forgot to mention before. Don't waste all your stamina on M1s. Use only 6 or 7 because you will need an extra bit to dash out of Hitman's range, or dodge a potential punch.
The next style is freedom style. If you recall what I said in my last video on styles, you may remember this as a goofy style because of its weak block and, well the style is just silly in general, but can be very dangerous when used correctly. Just like Hawk, freedom has a horrible block, not only that, but has the lowest HP in the game at 80%. For this style, you want to be observant. Your first goal can be to pressure your opponent with M1 barrages. Just like Hawk, after consecutive barrages, your opponent will not be able to block or will be Gowad broken. However, there is a lot going on with this style. As you know, freedom is basically 4 styles in 1. Hitman, Smash, Hawk, and freedom itself. So I will tell you how you can beat each style. For Hitman, Freedom's walk is slower than usual, and can throw up to 12 or 13 M1s. Your approach will be similar to the original Hitman. For Smash, Freedom's punches are big and wonky, just like the original the only difference is the damage and alternating M2s. For this mode, you can fight normally by beating your opponent with skill. You really only need to watch for the M2s. Keep track of where they last came from and don't be reckless. Some freedom users try to catch you off guard. Also, time your dodges or else you will be caught. For freedom, your opponent moves faster and has a large dash. But this is a style with the weakest block and HP. All you have to do is catch your opponent with a couple of M1 barrages. But again, don't be reckless. As your opponent moves faster, you will have to think faster. Don't just waltz in trying to land a punch. Not only can freedom sway back, freedom's punches are fast and since his lead arm is low, the M1s come from odd angles. However, you should be able to dodge all of freedom's M2s, as they are basically smash, and an overhand right. The next style is Iron Fists. This style is similar to Ipo. The only real difference being the punch patterns and the M2s. Since Iron Fists is a simple style, most of the users are smart. They are usually good dodgers and also have great timing. For this style, you want to proceed with caution, but you can fight this style normally, as the M2s are seen literally from a mile away. However, that isn't always the case. A lot of Iron Fists users try to catch you off guard with their M2s. So they throw them at odd times. That is why you should be cautious and observe your opponent. Also don't take too many M1s. They also do solid damage. Now the biggest thing about this style is its ultimate which does 80% damage I believe. To avoid this avoid being guard broken, perfect dodged, or awed. Basically, do everything you can to avoid it. All it takes is to heavy attacks and you're in ultimate range. Do remember that with every M to landed, Iron Fists loses health that cannot be regained. So I suppose you can use that information however you like, but I chose to avoid M2s at all times.
Lastly for this video, is Longoward. The not so identical brother to Hitman. Longoward is another dangerous style when used correctly. Longoward users are usually passive aggressive, just like Hitman. Waiting to attack you in their preferred ranges and occasionally coming after you. For this style, unlike Hitman, the wind ups are the big giveaways. Just as you would do with Hitman, ease your way in, cautious of your opponent. Though, that is only for some users. Other users may come to you first. When that happens, stay at a range where you can see your opponent's full body. And since Longguard's range isn't as long, you can stay at a certain distance just outside Longguard range, and when the whiffer punch, you can throw your own. Basically, it's just like Hitman with slight differences. The M2s are also easy to dodge but as always, people will try to catch you off guard. So you need to be careful. Pre-dashing against long guard isn't bad, but their M2s can catch you because of the huge wind up. Also, when in fighting long guard the M1s seem almost invisible, since long guard's hands extend in front, so you have to look for the indicator. You also have to be able to predict and have good reflexes. And guys, that is the end for this video. Let me know in the comments if this worked and if you want more styles covered. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.